All right, here we go. Okay, so we're continuing on with our build. Uh, we're working on now moving on to the final assembly. So we've basically got all of our sub-assemblies uh, completed, leak tested, uh, painted. You can see I've got them kind of scattered here. Uh, we've got a couple of assemblies that we're actually working on here. So the first thing that we're, we did is we took the reactor tank and the filter tank, put it on the base, we secured it with 3 8 inch bolts, and then we flipped it upside down so that we'll be able to work on putting in the grate assembly. So that's the first thing. And when it's in, in this position, we can put the grate assembly in, and we can also run the initial wiring for the grate in the blower. So here, we've got the grate assembly put together. So you see here, we've got a bottom plate. We've got this bottom piece. Now in your kit, you'll have a round piece of pipe here. Here I'm using a three inch square tube instead of a three inch round pipe. But it serves the same purpose. It's basically holding the shaft in place. And then we have the great shaft going up. And I've got two three quarter inch collars that are holding the shaft to the height that I want it. And the important thing with this is we want this measurement from the top of this plate to the top of the rim on the grate to be four and a half inches. Once we've got that set, we can tighten the uh, collar to lock it into place, and then we can tighten the one on the bottom. Now we need to make sure that there's that this is freely moving because this is the motion of the grate when the motor's turned on. So we want to make sure that this has good, free, easy to move, not too loose, not too tight. Then next is in the center of the grate, we put our half coupler in where we have our thermocouple mounted. So this is a half inch adapter. We've got the thermocouple uh, with a 1H fitting going down in. Our wire for the thermocouple comes out the bottom of the grate. And then we're gonna ultimately seal this up with, uh, we can either use a liquid gasket or I like to use this stove and gasket cement. Plug this up so we don't have any air leaks in the system. Um, so what we're gonna do, this is gonna fit down in here. And then we're gonna tighten it up with eight uh, 5 16 bolts. The great motor mounts into this mounting bracket here. I've already got it mounted. And the connection between the grate and the motor, we go, we use these grate pivot. So the first thing is we have this grate pivot called the grate pivot leg. And this is what actually goes on to the motor. And then we have the ball joint, 5 16 ball joint. Then we have a piece that has a 5 16 fine thread bolt uh, welded onto a piece of uh, 3 8 inch round bar. And that's going to get screwed into the ball joint. And that's where our motion is going to come in for turning the grate. Then we have the actual grate pivot uh, that's going to be, we have the hole that this is going to go in. Now, when we finally do the final install, we're going to put some lubricant on here because this is going to be moving in and out. So we want to have this lubed up. And then this piece is going to be on here where we've got on the grate shaft, we have two holes already drilled and tapped for 5 16 So we're going to put that in there. Now, I'll just hold it there for now just to show. And then I'm not going to secure this all the way. I just want to show what the fitting is. And then I have the power supply here. I got it wired because once I get it all set up, I want to test the motion, make sure everything is hooked up right. So when I turn, turn that on, that's the motion. of the. It basically is going to make the grate just go back and forth like that. Okay. So I'm going to undo this now because when I secure the base plate. The gasket seal. Yeah, I want to put some uh, gasket in there, liquid gasket. So what I'll do, we'll take this out. And then we've got this liquid gasket. Uh, it's included in the kits. And normally what I'll do is I'll just run a bead, a bead of this gasket.
And then what I'll do is on that bead, I just use a little flathead screwdriver to kind of flatten it out and even it. And any excess is going to just squeeze out the end and we'll just wipe it off. Then we take the assembled grade assembly. Try to set this up and over the existing holes. Then we'll take our lube. Put some of that lube on our pivot rod. through, tighten everything up. Yeah. All right. Got one. Mm. Can't see it. We need to turn it a little more. Oh, I can't see. I'll do it from the other side. <clears throat> the basic. So we'll tighten this down. And then I've got the power supply on here to check that we've got everything going. Once this is tightened, it's gonna turn, turn the grate. So that's the grate assembly in the motor. And then the last thing that we wanna do while we're still upside down is I wanna run the wire. And I've already got the wire here, so I'm using this back tube. 
So I have one wire that's going to come through here that's going to get a quick connect that's going to go to the grate and another wire that's going all the way through here and coming out and basically that's going to be the this is going to the blower. Once we get that tightened down, uh, touch up any paint, and then we can flip it back over and continue the assembly.